Hey everyone, Jake Thalem here from Rips Fish and Trips. I recently just purchased a Can-Am Outlander 850 XT. A friend of mine purchased a Can-Am Outlander 850 XTP. So just like to do a quick video here on the comparisons between the two. I know a lot of folks are shopping quads and just wondering what the comparisons would be between the XT and the XT model. So uh, just take a look here. I'm going to go through all the features and I'll provide pricing at the end of the video as well. Stay tuned. Starting with the XT, we have a 14 inch wheel, 26 inch tire, ITP Terracross, pretty nice tire wheel setup from factory. The Can-Am rim here is hubless, four spoke, and pretty nice tire actually coming from a factory setup. Shifting to the XTP, also a 14 inch wheel, 26 inch tire as well, ITP tear across. Difference here with the XTP is you get a real actual beadlock rim. You can see the beadlocks there around the outside of the wheel. It looks really sharp. Slightly different design there for the rim itself, uh, but also a four, four bolt hubless setup. All right, looking at the suspension setup here on the XT, your standard can-am spring shock set up here front and rear you do have adjustable travel here there's a tool provided with the machine where you can adjust the the uh, the spring load which does make a difference on these heavier machines looking at the xtp now here's where you see significant upgrades in the xtp package you've got fox podium shocks pretty much infinite adjustment there and I've really noticed just having the machine side by side, the difference in response rate if you press down on the rear or the front of the machine, a lot uh, stiffer suspension on the XTP. And obviously, as mentioned, a lot more adjustments you can be made here. Moving out to the front of the machine, we have the black bumper here with the quad headlights set up high low, 3,500 pound winch for the XT. XTP, nice yellow, Can-Am yellow bumper, also 3,500 pound winch, and the quad headlights. So not a lot of difference there, just the yellow is color matched to the, uh, the remainder of the machine. Shifting to the rear of the machine, here we have the standard Can-Am coil spring setup on the XT. Dual taillights. Does come with an attachment for a uh, hitch receiver. And on the back here, we have 26 inch tires as well. Moving over to the XTP, again, we've got the Fox Podium shock set up. Color matched rear bumper. Also sporting the two taillights. And similar hitch receiver set up there as well. So sitting on the 850 XT right now, it does come from factory with a one piece handguard system that goes along here. I have removed that and opted for the individual handguards here. Just a little more of a sporty look. If I open up the display here, this is a slightly smaller display than what we'll be seeing on the XTP. A little more information available on the XTP. It is a similar setup to what you would see in a Maverick or uh, XMR top of the line machines. Moving over to the XTP, you'll see it also has the individual handguards. These are like this from factory. Um, we have installed the mirrors here as well. As you can see, the display is a fair bit larger, it contains a little bit more information, and you do have a menu option here on the covering for the, the air filter. So you can cycle through that as well, but just a little more information there for the XTP being a, a premium package from Can-Am. We have both added the Can-Am accessory hand and thumb warmers. If you do any riding at all in the winter time, I highly recommend this as an add-on. Uh, you can get this for less than two, $300 installed and it does a great job of keeping your hands warm for winter riding. This one here is just a push button for the XT and I'll talk about the uh, upgraded XTP option as well. The XTP also features the Vislock 4 
which is the locking front differential for four wheel drive. Very nice feature, very nice upgrade on the XTP. Something that's just been available for a couple years and uh, I th believe this is the first year where it's available beyond the XMR series. Looking here at the color of the XT, we have the breakout camo pattern. This 850 XT is also available in the Oxford blue and the green Manta color. So kind of your preference on color, but that is what's available for the uh, 850 XT. Color scheme for the XTP is a gray gun metal metallic on the front, and then a real nice black on the rear here. It does a nice job of contrasting the two. So really nice pattern there on the XTP. These are painted plastics as well. So they'll stand up to a lot of scratches and it looks really, really sharp. Ties in nice with the black of the machine as well. Just a note on the XTP, you'll see it's got the rad relocate installed. This is not a factory option that you would order the machine with. This was done as an accessory add-on after the machine was purchased. Just something that the owner wanted to have on his machine. He's done it in the past, had really good luck with that. And so he, uh, he went ahead and added this as part of the purchase. So just another shot of the two machines side by side. Definitely like that yellow, that can in yellow looks pretty sharp there. The all black with the camo is pretty cool as well. But again, great machines and uh, they look. One change as well for these Can-Ams is the single key. Now they used to come with two keys, a green and a white key. Now they have a gray key and you have three throttle modes here. Your ITC um, electronic throttle control and you can control that here. So now I'm in normal mode, then I go to sport mode and I basically click back to get into uh, work mode, which is right here. So uh, this is uh, something that's shared between the XT and XTP platforms. Hey guys, hope that was helpful. If anyone's looking to purchase an XT or an XTP, uh, just a lot of the quick hits on the differences between the two machines. Hoping to add some additional content as we go throughout the year, get some seat time, look at the differences between the, uh, the performance of the Fox Podium shocks, the, uh, the Visalock 4 on the, on the XTP. And uh, thanks again for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and check out my Instagram channel as well. And again, keep ripping. Thanks.